You guys ever have those moments where a song randomly gets stuck in your head? You probably have. But not just that, have you ever had a moment where that specific song that gets stuck in your head is very relatable to you for whatever reason? And weirdly enough, not long after it gets stuck in your head, it feels like you're playing out this specific song. Maybe that one you might have a harder time saying, yes, that's me, too. Or maybe not. Well, this is kind of along the topic of something I wanted to talk about today. Shut up, phone. That was poor timing. <laughs> okay, um... Now, yesterday... Or not yesterday, but... I think it was yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago, um, I talked about, like, just updates and stuff, and a very specific statement came up that kind of sort of hit on this. I, I was very subtle about it, just because I wanted to save what I'm referring to for today. Except I think, I, I, I think it was so subtle that it wasn't. But I digress, it's who cares. Um, to, be, to be honest though, aside from all that derpy talk, I, the reason I asked what I did is something recently, over the course of the past couple of weeks has been going on. Weirdly enough, right after, directly, just a couple days after I solidify, and I mean record solidify, which means about a week before you guys saw the video about it. But around that time when I solidify the idea of exactly how I'm going to approach doing videos and streams, which so far I do like how it's going on that. Uh, obviously there are all alternations that had to happen this week, so we could get one day on the um, <clears throat> Summer Game Fest. But two, I mean, it's just, I don't know. There are a lot of factors to play. I'm not going to get too sidetracked. Okay, point is, I got a specific song stuck in my head that I haven't thought about in about five years. The song itself was called Danny Dakota and the Wishing Well by a silent film. Great song, by the way, great song. Why I haven't heard or thought about that song in years? It, it, well, a couple different reasons on that front. The main one being that just, when I listened to that song, I owned an iPhone. I'm pretty sure this is not an iPhone. <laughs> when I bought this, or traded it in more, rather, I felt it necessary to download YouTube Music specifically uh, for my source for music for this because it was the most accessible to me. Um, it was the... Uh, I, weirdly enough, it was the one that worked the most on this phone anyway, because I tried... No, I didn't just download that one. I know I'm getting sidetracked, don't worry, I'm not going to get too off-topic. But I downloaded SoundCloud, which was eh. The only thing I ever listened to on that was the Techno Dream, Dark, Epic, blah, blah, whatever it is. Techno trance stuff. Um, and... Spotify. Specifically to support D9. But I digress. Um, for this particular circumstance, why why Danny Dakota in the Wishing Well just... Because most of the stuff 
YouTube Music Boys, I created a playlist on my own, a separate, private-ish account, um, with music on it. But that particular one, along with like Techno Dream Trance stuff, just kind of went over my head. I didn't try looking for any of this stuff Techno Trance wise, which is weird because YouTube is where I originally found it. Um, and stuff like Danny Dakota and the Wishing Well, and several others I'm sure I'll come to my mind at some point, just faced my mind. And I don't know why. But, as of this recording, at this point, I think it was like two weeks ago, or three weeks ago when I recorded the video talking about, you know, solidified scheduling, solidified how I'm going to approach things, blah, 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 that. The week before that, randomly out of the blue, I just... The song just popped in my head for no reason whatsoever. When that happened, you know, when that happened, I didn't know what to think. I didn't know how to approach it. And because of that, it kind of made me wonder. For a while, I wondered, okay, well, I like this song, and it reminds me of a very specific someone um, who, in the little distant past at this point, I was in a relationship with, and I never properly fell out of love. But at the end of the relationship, that particular song was something I was hoping for. Symbolically, still. But I it couldn't cross my mind why. Why? Well, so a little bit before I progress and talk about this, I want to point out that I'm the kind of person who, to get me to fall out of love with someone, that particular someone has to pull so many contradictive or negative aspects on me in the aftermath of a breakup, divorce, split up, de depending on what kind of partnership or relationship we're talking about here. But point is, so many negative, irrational, or just downright bad things have to happen after the matter that it impacts me in a way that makes me glad that the event happened and this is not a common thing to have happen almost every kind of relationship partnership whatever you want to call it of whatever kind that I've had almost every single variant of all of these have always seemed to end with me caring about the person still, to a large degree as well. That's why a lot of the time for me, now this part is a fun fact about me, if you want to call it a fun fact, but that's why whenever a relationship ends I still do have feelings for the person, and that's why as well, in contrast, it hurts, the, like the whenever some a breakup or a cheating session or I guess divorce is another technical 
choice, like the, the, any kind of negative thing that ends a relationship. Um, it's why those hurt me to the degree where I just give up. I just want it all to end. And yet, even with all that said, I guess there's just still something that interests me, or piques my interest of why I would think of this song out of the blue. Yeah, don't worry. Like I said, I was going to run back to this after describing all that. The thing is, with this specific song, this specific song is something that I haven't thought about since right after a specific relationship ended. And, like I said, when I fall in love with someone, I don't easily fall out of love. Kind of makes me wonder if I'm, like, polyamorous or something. <laughs> I said that half-jokingly, half-not, by the way. Mainly because, well, one, when you think about it, if done right, that technically is what someone polyamorous is like. For those who don't know, so poly someone who's polyamorous um, is someone who is okay with being in multiple relationships at once with certain altercations depending on the type. This is a very, very confusing thing for a lot of people. Polyamory, which is the other word to describe it, is not an open relationship. So this is something I'm going to talk about in, on another day. But I wanted to clarify just to allow a faint knowledge of what this is. Um, but I digress. That particular mindset allows me to love multitudes of individuals relation to a relationship degree at once but makes it also extremely hard for me to fall out of love. Unless the person, like I said earlier, screws me over so badly that I don't want it anyway. And that has only happened to me a few times. Out of the, if I'm being honest, like seven relationships I've been in in my life, about, I'd say four of the seven, did exactly that. Cost me to not want it anymore. Period. But with that being said, what does this have to do with where I'm going? Well, anybody who's heard the song Danny Dakota and the Wishing Well knows that it's basically, for the for those who haven't, I'm going to describe the story behind it really quick, like the story of, not behind how the song was made or anything. If you guys want to see something like that, let me know and I can create videos about it, but this particular song, it's about a, a, a boy and a girl who met near a wishing well, and in the end, the, the boy couldn't say it, he just couldn't let the words out. And because of that, the girl left. Ended up getting married. The marriage was a bust, which relatable to almost anybody now in, in the same generation as me nowadays. Not a lot, but it's like 50-50. But the song the story of the song ends with the girl coming back to the well this one i think is actually literal but i think the song could be taken metaphorically seeing the boy there taking the boy's hand and going never let me go again weirdly enough the song I just described is a song that I thought of 
shortly after one of my relationships ended. Stopped thinking about it for the longest time, and then suddenly, like I said a week before that one video, I suddenly just start thinking of the song. I have no idea why. Had no idea why. But as time went on, up until today and even beyond today probably, I started to reconnect with someone. Someone who I parted ways with for quite some time. This person who's going to remain unnamed for now impacted my life in an extre extremely positive way prior to what happened between the two of us. There were a lot of things on the channel or outside the channel personal life that this person helped me come to terms with. And when this happened, well, it's just something about this particular um, individual that clicked. Bear in mind, I am the kind of person that, like, I, I, I have a hard time letting go of some people. My could, you might could call it obsession. Wow. Let me rephrase that for those of you who hate any, like, difference in terms. Or improper English, or, you know, that kind of stuff. I guess you could consider that obsession, what I'm referring to, but at the same time... It goes under the psychology that once you love someone, you never stop. Even if it's kind of partially buried away. But this specific individual, well, I reached out to them and this is probably the person that I right now can probably relate to in my own personal life the most. Used to be the same case back in the day too. But the weird thing is, the more I spoke with this person, the more they started to show IRL comparisons to that song, Danny Dakota and the Wishing Well. Now bear in mind, I'm talking symbolically. Where I live, there may be like two, like, wells like that. Because where I live right now is becoming more of a metropolis city than anything else. It's like a suburb. But wells usually are allocated in places that are like grassy fields. Stuff like that. We ain't got that here no more. <laughs> But this particular individual, the more I spoke with them, the more I saw, started to see, like, inline comparisons to that song. And to be honest, I just don't know how to feel about it. Is that a bad thing? No. But I, I just, I don't know how to respond to it. I don't. I wish I did. But the more I think about it, the more I wondered. Or the more I thought about it, the more I wondered. And it got to a point where I was like, 
I started drawing inline comparisons. And now we're getting to the point of what I was referring to yet in yesterday's video. Like this small little clip. And I started to ask myself, should I be there for this particular individual? Should I be there for the person who I'm referring to? For me, that's a no-brainer. I try to abide by the Good Samaritan Act as much as possible. I think, it's called, I think it's the Good Samaritan Act of 1945. Somewhere around that time era. This will have to be something I talk about in a History Talk video. Because that is something that I'm intrigued in. Which is weird, because I used to hate history. But I digress. This person who I've been talk to whom I've been talking with for a while now. Well, their actions made me think of one very specific line from that song, which refers to the a point in time where Dakota um, got married to a certain friend and that friend kind of broke her trust by doing something extremely drastic and Dakota tried to make it work but no matter what she did it just didn't it didn't work out and then over on the side Danny would be like writing letters, but in the background, still crying and missing Dakota. Those two very specific factors that I just listed are the factors that I thought of when that song came to my mind. Really enough, not long after it did, I actually started talking to this particular individual again after a while of not doing so. And this is around the time, I believe, as well. Bear in mind, I could be getting my dates mixed up because I'm bad at that, but I believe this is around the time where I had uploaded a video or recorded to prep to upload the video of me talking about starting to talk to another individual again or just starting to talk to someone I should say a woman who like it was that video where I was talking about yeah oh I'm not gonna bring too much up, but I'm going. I, I'm talking to this woman. And I, I wasn't. I was very vague about it for um, protection's sake, but at the time I was making that. Excuse me. Well, the person I was referring to. I'm not gonna say who it was yet again but when I started talking to this person the weird thing is I don't I, it just felt more natural to me and desirable because this individual is one of two people who I never fully fell out, fell out of love with Well, I started talking to this person, and I started to notice a pattern. That pattern lined up symbolically with Danny Dakota and the Wishing Well way too closely. 
after realizing that, I let an older version of me out who was willing to do anything to protect anybody he cares about, which I still try to do anyway, but hopefully you get my point. And that me decided I I am going to be there for this person. This person was someone who influenced how I had a more professional approach to this channel, admittedly. This person is who's someone who kind of helped me realize that entertainment is something I've always wanted to do. I mean, as a kid, I usually thought, oh yeah, I want to be like, for example, Daniel Radcliffe, because I loved the Harry Potter films. I still do to this day, not as much as my sister does. She's... I forget the term. Sue me, but I forget the term of someone who is a die-hard Potter fan. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you want, but I digress. That's my sister, not me. I still love the films. I adore the books. But it's my sister falls under that category more. Yet, this person, a lot of attributes about who I am, well, this person helped me develop it. That's not something I say about a lot of people. And I started talking to this person and they had specific problems that, as they were going through them, I couldn't help but constantly get reminded of that song. And it was very surreal, more or less. So, yeah. I find it very weird how simple circumstances can remind me of specific songs. And this is something that's going to intrigue me for a while, but... It also makes me wonder on where life's gonna go. Pray and hope it goes in a direction that... And this is why I bring up, brought up the song in the first place and all this backstory stuff for the past 20-something minutes. Part of me is hoping that the outcome of that song is what happens between me and this individual. Remember, the song is symbolic, meaning I'm not saying that the exact thing that happened in the song happened to me and this one person, and I want the exact thing to happen back. Just similar enough to where the song can be relatable to it. For example, the person didn't have to be just past uh, relationships and then... It, it doesn't have to be that kind of thing. It doesn't have to be a wishing well. It could be like a specific direct location otherwise. It, it could be a line of things, but the point is... like, It, it doesn't have to be just a normal relationship. It could have been a, 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 on my end of marriage, on that their end of relationship. It could have been anything point is, as long as it was close enough to where I could compare, it counts. And I to listen to that song, or being reminded of that song and thinking through the lyrics, made me kind of want the end result to happen. And to this day, I still think so. How things are going to turn out is beyond me. But I truly do hope that it does turn out for the better. Because at this point in my life, it is something that I need. I'm the kind of person who... I can't be alone. It would... 
create an emotional wreck on me. And I don't think I can go for that at this point. So, yeah. That's the topic of the video, I guess. I, I don't know how to end this. Um, this is just something that's been bubbling in my mind for a while. And for those who did stick around to the end of this video, thank you. I know it was a long rant, tangent, whatever you want to call it. But it's something I've, I, I did want to talk about, so... There you have it. Anyway, once again, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any thoughts on it, let me know in the comments below. I'll always read them. If you like this video or can relate to this in any kind of way, make sure to give the video a like and consider subbing to the channel. Uh, I'm going to, again, start trying to do vlogs. Not on a daily basis, but at least not yet. But I do plan on doing it every day we do at least a video. Which for this week was a bit scattered, but next week it'll be back to the whole Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, stream, Thursday, Friday, Saturday video thing. But until then, thanks again for watching, guys. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video and consider subbing. And I'll see you guys later. Hi, everyone.